So I preferred 11 for this evening's game against Preston North End. I feel like this is one of the easiest ones I've done for a long, long time. I get the impression a lot of Stoke fans will be vaguely on the same line as me with this preferred 11. I think at times against Derby, it was the best attacking performance I've seen for at least 12 months. We really, really did hammer Derby. And as Jones and so many people have said since the game, it's such a disappointment we didn't end up winning. But despite that, it was quite clear that there were still defensive frailties as coming from midfield specifically, I felt. I think if we can just tweak and amend that, we're really onto something. So that lends itself quite simply to the first 11. Jack Bolton in net again. With the defence, I'll go with James McLean again. I thought it was one of his better games at left wing back or, or left back. I thought whatever position that is in the diamond formation, I thought he played, played quite well. I think he's settling slowly into that role. Still not perfect by any means. I think he's getting better. Centre backs, Danny Bat and Liam Lindsay. And right back, Tommy Smith. Just in front of the defence, the ever improving Ryan Woods, who was comfortably man of the match, I felt, and he deservedly got that accolade. Just in front of Ryan Woods, I would go with Sam Klukas, who I thought played quite well. And then I would naturally go, and I think this is where a lot of Stokies will agree with me, I will go with Etebo instead of Joe Allen. It just doesn't seem to be happening for Joe this season. He, he's really struggling, and I do think, as I've said a million and one times, I don't think he's made for that position in the down formation. I just don't think he's defensively minded enough. And just behind the, the strikers is Tommins. It's a position that I thought he'd struggle with if he ever had to come in uh, for Powell, but he's, he's playing quite well there so far. So I think he should rightfully keep his place. Then up front, absolutely no doubt, Hogan and Gregory, who I thought again were excellent um, on Saturday on back of a really good performance as well against Charlton. If we can just shore up the centre midfield, I do think we're on to a winner and hopefully Etebo will be the player to do that for us.